Three coal miners are seriously injured after an underground collapse at the Signal Peak Energy Mine near Roundup. That's Montana's largest underground coal mine. It all happened around 8.30 last night when the three miners suddenly became trapped. The mine's extraction team was able to get them out and above ground. One of the miners was flown to a Billings hospital while the other two were taken by ambulance. The collapse happened in a section of the mine near the end of what is known as the Long Wall. That's an active part of the mine where operations take place. The county agency said state authorities are investigating the incident. The mine rescue team, um, they did all the underground work. Um, they're trained on it um, and they're also permitted to go underground. Um, whereas the local first responders, you know, there's kind of that separation um, right at the airlock. We can do anything above ground, but we don't have the training knowledge or know how to go, safely go underneath. Um, so the rescue team, you know, they did a great job, you know, shoring the, the location where the collapse had occurred, um, extricating the, the patient safely, loading them, and then getting them up to us. We did some digging into what has been a troubled recent past for the mine. Back in January, Signal Peak Energy's former mine safety director, Curtis Floyd, pleaded guilty to a federal charge of conspiring with another mine official to not report an injury. That was part of a federal investigation into corruption at the mine after former executive Larry Price Jr. was convicted of defrauding the mine and other parties in a scheme to build Billings' largest mansion. The mine was also ordered to pay a million dollars in fines in 2021 for illegally dumping mine waste and concealing employee injuries.